The two parties in this action had fought together in the Second World War as pilots in the Air Force in Java, in what's now Indonesia. In March 1949, they met up in Brisbane to have a reunion. They had a few drinks and then decided to drive a couple of hours south to Southport. Along the way, they stopped at four more hotels for more drinks. And then finally, once they got to Southport, they had some more drinks. You just know this isn't going to end up well, right? After they left the hotel for the final time, neither of them could walk straight. They helped one another into the car and then took off at great speed with the lights off. They didn't get very far. After about a kilometre, they ran off the road and ended up in a drain. Mr Roggenkamp was gravely injured and sued in negligence. The defendant, however, raised the defence of valenti non fit injuria, which means there is no injury to a volunteer. In plain language, the argument was that since Mr Roggenkamp had gotten into the car on his own, he had known the risk he was taking and he could not complain that the risks had turned into actual harm. Justices McTiernan and Williams quoted from Halsbury's, which defined the Valenti defence in this way. In order to establish the defence, the plaintiff must be shown not only to have perceived the existence of danger, for this alone would be insufficient, but also that he fully appreciated it and voluntarily accepted the risk. They then approved of the finding by the original judge, Justice Matthews of the Supreme Court of Queensland, who said, I think the plaintiff was a voluntary participant in the trip, that he participated in causing the driver's intoxication by drinking with him and continuing the trip while he was at intervals drinking the intoxicants. He therefore knew of the driver's intoxication and that he had helped to bring it about. They concluded, It is an inescapable inference that the appellant knew and appreciated the danger of the situation and voluntarily consented to take the risk of the occurrence of an accident such as that which unfortunately happened. In the end, Mr. Roggenkamp was not compensated for his injuries. Mm -hmm.